Hey gang, let's talk about the ITF Plus. In 2022, is the ITF Plus or the IT Fundamentals still worth it? So this is Rob from ITMagicKey.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys listening to this to get certified. So the ITF Plus certification provides somewhat of an overview of important topics. So many people who want to work in IT don't generally want to work in support. But support is actually an awesome place to start. It gives you a glimpse of a little bit of everything and really allows you to be in the trenches when it comes to IT. It also you know, gives you that grit, gives you that knowledge, gives you that experience that you can take on to your future positions. So if you want to work as a help desk technician or any technical capacity that involves a computer or operating system, the A plus is usually the most popular choice. Now, A plus is more of an employment certification. So if you get A plus, you'll be able to actually start applying for gigs. ITF, but my students I always tell them that it's more educational. So A plus is I can actually get a job. ITF plus, I can actually learn some stuff. And it's a really good precursor for the actual A plus certification. So ITF plus, you can get the certification if you want to. It's not a necessity. It's a, it's, it's a nice to have, but it's a great precursor to get you ready for the A+. Now, CompTIA. If we don't know what CompTIA is, CompTIA is a skilled certification organization with a globally recognized reputation. And employers are going to be looking for certain names, whether it's Cisco, whether it's CompTIA, whether it's the EC Council, but certain names are like buzzwords. And CompTIA is definitely one of those that is at the forefront. So the ITF Plus certification itself provides an overview of stuff like IT infrastructure, program development, database usage, and a bunch of other stuff, like a lot of other stuff. So it's kind of like, in theory, a summary of why all the different mechanisms that go on in IT actually work together and separately. The ITF actually allow you to acquire technical skills and supplement your actual knowledge. The IT fundamentals is just that. You understand the fundamentals of troubleshooting and how to proactively maintain a network devices and how to interact with users and even have some security in there as well. Now, not too long. Well, it was kind of long ago, maybe about a, two years ago. I had made a video on the Master IT YouTube channel that said, hey, man, this ITF Plus shit, it is not worth it. Don't do it. Do not do it. Since then, they've made the ITF Plus so much more robust. You know, people that say, oh, this is going to be easy. Or it's going to be a breeze. Let them go in there and take this damn exam and see what happened. It is, like I said, it's a lot more difficult than people give it credit for. And it's just just an awesome exam to get your feet wet. Now, as of this recording, the ITF Plus has a minimal investment. That's another great thing about this certification. You learn so much. And the actual certification as of this recording is only, I want to say, $130. So on the actual exam, you will have 75 multiple choice questions and you will have one hour to finish, right? So you have less than a minute to knock out each question. Now, the students that's in the Zero to Hero program, and especially in the winter circle, find that that's more than enough time to knock out the actual exam. Now, whatever program you're using, whatever studying you're using, hopefully it's geared you up to be able to knock out the exam in that time. Because I know sometimes looking at that, it could be like, damn, wait a minute. It's 75 questions. I only got 60 minutes. That's less than a minute for each question. Now, the actual pass rate or what you need to pass, excuse me, is 650 out of 900. Every CompTIA exam is going to be out of 900. And this exam in particular, you got to get 650, all right? 650 out of 900. So you learn all this different stuff and the exam is only $130. So if you think that your advance who just is just the top of the top and you resolve IT situations and issues easily, and you call yourself a technician, go ahead and take this. If this your, if you've never taken a certification, go and take a swing at this and see how you do. You may be humbled or you may be pleasantly surprised. You might go ahead and pass. This is what I use for students just to see if IT is literally for them. 
Like, is this for you? Let's 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 see how you do. Now, like I said, this is a great precursor to A plus. My students have found that they pass A plus at a much higher pass rate after they knock this out. So even if you already in IT, already rocking out, already doing what you need to do, this is still a good certification. So this certification might tell your company that you have the initiative and a desire to advance to a more technical capacity. And then when you actually want to start getting raises, getting promoted or even move away from a job, that's when you go ahead and knock out A plus and then net plus and security plus so on and so forth. Now, the certifications that I just mentioned, those three are part of the zero to hero program. If you've never heard my voice before, if you if you don't know, I am the founder and creator of Master IT, and that is the home of the Zero to IT Hero program and recently introduced the winner circle. So both of these programs include A plus, Net plus, and Security plus. I won't go too deep into it, but if you know, you know. All right. So advanced learners, if you already have A plus or Net plus or Security plus, this isn't, you don't need this. Uh, it's not a nice to have. It's literally, it would literally be pointless. If you have A plus or above, do not go after this. Now you can go ahead and maybe train and, and learn some stuff that's in here, but you're actually, you know, going backwards. If you got A plus already, do not worry about ITF plus. All right. Do not worry about ITF plus. So you should already kind of know where I'm leaning towards this when it comes to the question, is ITF plus worth it? The ITF plus certification is undoubtedly worthwhile. No matter your degree or expertise in IT support, you will benefit from the broad knowledge and topics that's covered on the certification. Even if you don't currently work in IT, this is definitely for you. So you can really get that fundamental stuff and it's a great first certification to pursue. If you're passionate about IT, you'll appreciate the various facets of systems, teams, techniques, and all the stuff that this certification covers. And also on the flip side, if you're already working in IT, you may be kind of skeptical, like, man, this shit say fundamentals. I don't, what, why would I need that? And I'm gonna have to say, you couldn't be more wrong. You couldn't be more wrong. CompTIA recognizes key competencies that may not be acquainted with irrespective or if you have worked in any IT capacity, including a help desk technician, an on-site assistant, all these things, they took those roles into account when they actually created this certification, okay? Just because you're in help desk, just because you are on-site assistant, just because you're actually rocking out on IT already, does not mean that this certification is going to be a cakewalk. Side note, somebody tell me the origin of cakewalk. Put it in the comments. What the hell does that mean? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> I've never said that before, but here it is. Anyway, uh, if you utilize this credential as a motivator to continue education. So that's what I was saying. A lot of times I use this as a win to build confidence for, for my guys and my girls. And like I said, the confidence boosts up and then the mentality and the fundamental knowledge, that foundation, they start, you know, knocking out the certifications one after the other. So the IT fundamentals might have might amaze you and reveal areas of your expertise that you may benefit from. And like I said, you can also start working towards what certification that you like from the topics that were covered in the IT fundamental certification. You can say, okay, I kind of like networking or I kind of like when we're talking about security or I kind of like when we're talking about database fundamentals, so on and so forth. So in conclusion, if you're watching this on YouTube, I would appreciate if you like and comment. If you're listening to the podcast, I'd appreciate if you would share this with anybody it can benefit from and make sure you leave a comment down below turn on notifications so you know whenever we drop an episode and other than that as always i will see each and every one of you in class